uh, dear students now uh, we are heading towards our next lecture that is addressing it's very much important it is very much important while uh, you are uh, connecting to our network you need to know the addressing format that how the addressing will go forward so as uh, as far as i know that in the previous lectures we have completely understand the tcp ip architecture so tcp ip architecture basically a four layer but we make it to a five layer combination <coughs> for this five layer combination uh, there are some addresses that has been uh, required for each level so four levels of addresses are used in and internet employing the tcp ip protocol so there are four addresses on each particular point so as you know in the physical part uh, in the physical part physical layer the bit stream is the uh, basic thing of transmission your data then it will make a frame that is data link layer then it will make a network layer data grams then it will make a transport layer segmentations then it will make a application layer for the messages so there are four different type of uh, different type of data that has been flowed from the physical layer to through, through to the application layer bits then it will be frames then it will be datagrams then it will be datagrams will be segmented after that it will be a, it, it will be a message as like as you can say if you want to open an email open an email so email is on the application layer part but if it is on the uh, if if you if you think on the physical domain arena you are connecting with an antenna or you are connecting to a fiber optic cable the bit stream will go uh, for that particular information so in the data link layer uh, it is known as the physical addresses okay the mac address and all other things logical addresses will be employed on the network layer port addresses is employed on the transport layer and application specific addresses are employed on the application layer now we know we want to know we have to know that is which type of addresses what are the characteristics of the addresses where it should be used and how is the configuration of the addresses first of all that is physical address as you can see here uh, that the physical address is also known as a link address it is the address that is known and uh, no, uh, that is address of a node as defined by its lan or one it is included in the frame used by used by the data link layer it is the lowest level address that means it is on the mac address uh, the size and format of these addresses vary depending on the uh, network for example ethernet is a 6 byte 48 bit physical address and there is an internet card internet and network interface card located on your computer or local talk on apple so however it has uh, has a one byte of dynamic address that changes each time the station comes up so that is the mac address that is the physical address the hexadecimal address uh, that is uh, the 6 byte address 6 byte there are 6 byte 1 2 3 4 5 6 bytes with that 48 bits physical address so 6 byte has 12 hexadecimal digits physical address so that is going to be the physical addresses or link addresses and each of the devices different link addresses as you you uh, just uh, you think about it over it just you are just making connection between two computers physically that will add that, that will require a physical address with each other to acknowledge themselves if you just uh, add a, a printer to your computer it will also go through to the physical address but there is a network address true okay now uh, how the physical address will just uh, make establishment with it, each other there is uh, a destination address on the beginning of the data <coughs> and the source address after that data so whenever the frame the encapsulation comes forward so first of all there is a destination address first address is a destination address second one is the source address and sender will send it through to the LAN so they want to acknowledge first of all the uh, there are some this packet will go through a single hub network so layer 2 addresses are only used to communicate between a device and single local which link will be established it will it have to be find the 87 number address that is the receiver address so destination address so first of all it will acknowledge this and it will make a connection from uh, the sender to the receiver 
section so that is gonna be the registration address and the source address means the next address is the source address uh, the 87 will then make a connection with the 10 because the connection has been established by the source address so that is the uh, that is the main operation of physical addressing now <coughs> In physical addressing, there are uh, three type of basic uh, mode addressing. That is the unicast, multicast, and broadcast physical address. Unicast is one single recipient. If there is one single recipient, unicast. Uh, that means if you want to make a pairing with the Bluetooth with your uh, computer or Bluetooth with your another mobile device, that will be unicast. Multicast is a group of recipients or broadcast that means uh, if you are working in an office you want to connect every computer with your computer so that will be multicast and broadcast you, you, you know that is a single entity single access all the access single link but all of have the same access that's an internet protocol or internet the internet addresses <clears throat> yes http addresses some networks support all three addresses ethernet supports the unicast multi physical addresses the multicast addresses and the broadcast addresses some networks do not support the multicast or broadcast physical addresses. So these are some issues. Now the logical address, most usual part. Logical address are necessary for universal communications that are independent of underlying physical networks. Physical addresses are not adequate in an internet internet network uh, environment. Where different networks can have different address formats. A universal, universal addressing system it is needed in which each host can be identified uniquely regardless of the underlying physical network. The logical addresses are designed for this purpose. A logical address is the inter in internet. It is currently a 32 bit address that can uniquely define a host connected to the network internet no two publicly addressed and visible hosts on the network can have the same ip address so that's the thing the logical addresses is that the network layer however needs to find the physical address of the ne next hop before the it's a hop to a connection this is the routing table that how the routing will make up okay <coughs> just look up look after it 20 and 10 first point is the destination address that is you have to connect connect you have to connect to the 20 f20 okay the destination will be 20 10 is the source computer address now there are two another addresses a and p right there that is a logical address <coughs> basically it will create the link between the lands there is a LAN connection make with the router okay so this router will make a connection with another LAN. so this LAN will get another physical address so physical address will be changed each of the layers layer 2 if the layer 2 crosses the physical address will change because it will uh, it will just go side by side with different destinations and different sources through a physical addressing format but the ap is a here you can say a and p the logical address that doesn't change because it needs to get through to a certain receiver that should have to be connected with each other that is a routing table that we that finds the logical address to be the next hop to be so <clears throat> there is a routing table on the server that whether whether they would uh, whether in which address book they will go forward another protocol address resolution protocol finds the physical address of the router one that corresponds to its logical address 20 the physical address will change from hop to hop but the logical remain the same so logical address uh, will not change uh, when they when they transfer from one link to another so this is the la logical address that can be unicast multicast and broadcast addresses so there is a single entity uh, when the destination network comes around so source and device are connected to each other but they will route through to whole of the channels now there is a logical addressing there is a network address, broadcast address, and host addresses are there. There may be class A, class B, classified addresses in the logical addresses that we will know uh, in the next lectures. And what are the port address? Port addresses are the computer devices that can run multiple processes. At the same time, the end objective of the internet communication process communication with another process. So process to process communication that we want to transfer a file. So we have to go through transfer file transfer protocol. So there are different type of ports with 16 bits in length. They are known as the port addresses and that will make a connection with each other and make a process to process delivery that which process and which type of thing that we want to establish a network. Uh, that's all for now.